parasite even accidentally. I'm showing you where I'm dealing out of cancer. Thing. Still, that never seemed to it. This is the situation. You we have a contract. For those already infected. And under the deck, we have and blossoming abundance. This is the second time. No paperwork, no questions asked. That we have gotten these cards canceled. And once this circuit That's the group situation. Has been dealt with, I'll be back Marcus with you shortly. So? <sighs> okay, Cancers, I'm back. And it is lots quieter <laughs> than it was earlier. So I was just basically in between readings and I was doing an impromptu reading, Cancer. And it was a general reading for the collective. And I had just got done recording and uploading that last video you guys saw that video you guys it was the alert okay it was titled you won't believe what this person jumped into cancer or what this person um got into so something to that nature and there was a free extended so if you have not watched that those videos, those two videos I uploaded, um, the last two videos, check those out. Do that. Before you do anything else, cancers, check those out. So let me light some incense too before I move on because this energy here is already popping. And by the way, Hello, Cancers. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, but I was, someone requested a new setup. They did. Somebody requested that um, the camera be a little bit closer. Well, a lot bit closer. <laughs> um, because they wanted to see the cards a little bit better, Cancer. And they felt a little bit far away from me. Which... I understand that. I felt far away from you guys as well. Um, I'm much closer to the camera at this stage. Um, however, you still can't necessarily see me. It's not about me. It's about the energy that I am reading and the cards, you guys. And I do want to show you guys um, the cards. It is important to see the placements. Um, it's important to see the cards, but it's important to see the placements of those cards and also the picture that is being painted with each story that is being represented or laid out cancer so or spread okay so anyways very very good suggestion and uh kudos kudos to my beautiful beautiful subscriber for recommending that to me i was actually um, working on another task when I was checking my comments or messages, you guys, because I like to respond to messages pretty much right after you guys, you know, after I air. So that's the best time to connect with me is right after I upload an episode. I like to connect with my audience and see what you guys are resonating with and what you're liking, not liking, anything that you'd like to see more of, less of. I pay attention to all of that. Um, and all of that is very, very important to me. Um, cancers, by the way, just in case you uh, didn't know, now you do. Um, but yeah, so very important to me. And so that was one of the things that... Um, One of the things that I was focusing on, and I'm trying to find that episode here. So, so Cancers, I was going over the comments, and one of the most beautiful comments came across. It started, hello, teacher. Would it be possible for you to bring us a little closer to the table? Well, first of all, absolutely. This is not just my table. This is your table. We're all eating from this table. We're all receiving knowledge from this table, um, eating the meat, spitting out the bones, getting the information, what is important, what's necessary, what resonates, leaving what does not, cancer. So I want you guys to see 
the cards as I'm showing them. So very important. So thank you, Natalie, for that. Um, she says, just having trouble seeing the cards and feel a little distant from you. Another very important part is very important to connect with the audience, which is what I feel like I have not been doing lately because I've been um, focusing on moving. I've been focusing on my own personal relationships and things. But Cancer, I've recently ascended. I have been cleansing. I have been focusing on myself more. I have been focusing on the channel more. I've been focusing on you guys' energy more. Um, and putting my energy there and um, also cleansing. And, you know, doing that, Cancer. So that is important as well. And also keeping all of... Um, a lot of the toxic energies at bay as minimal as possible and that can be difficult because we all got to live and we all got to live around toxic people um, so we have to be in that energy and I'm an empath and I take a lot of that on so you guys as I'm getting into my um, zone or able to protect my space and myself more I will um, you will you will see that <laughs> it will definitely pull through these um, readings and you will be able to feel that in the messages that I generate okay so just know that this uh, is a direct representation of my response and recognition of Natalie's very very beautiful very well thought very excellent comment it's not over she goes um, switching up the space 2023 which is so so wise it's a new year it should be a new feel okay a new feel I'm definitely ascending cancer I'm definitely feeling um, like my eyes are being open I'm learning becoming more wise um, so in that energy I want to also um, have you all benefit from that process as well so here we go and you have a blessed and peaceful calming energy beautiful beautiful comment from you Natalie thank you again um, and you have a very 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 beautiful energy and aura just around all the messages that you send um, by the way Biggest love and blessings all the way from down under Australia. She's an Aussie girl. All right. I love me some Aussies. Love, love, love from Nat with all the beautiful hearts. Black, gold, or I say black, yellow, and red, but I say black, gold, and red. And prayers, blessings. She's very beautiful. So thank you so much, Natalie. I just wanted to um, give you a shout out and a very, very beautiful thank you to you for your beautiful comment. And hopefully this brings you a little bit closer. I do intend on cleaning it up a little bit and doing a lot of different things, getting rid of um, some things and um, opening up more of the crystals to you guys so that you guys can have the crystal energy flowing through so that is my goal for this year so you'll see and expect some changes okay um, but uh, take it easy on me but this is just something I could do right away because she was so beautiful in her question and um, and I respect all of you guys and I love you guys so much so I wanted to be able to do that for her and for you all let me know how you like the setup um, I'm probably going to change the colors so it's a little bit easier on your eyes. Let me know um, how you feel about that. And, um, oh, I love my son. He's the sweetest, sweetest son ever, ever, ever next to my other son. They're both one of the two sweetest sons I ever met. And my daughter is a gem as well. But my that oldest boy is... <sighs> making me tear up right now sending me a sweet message he always does one moment you guys will respond to him okay cancers i'm back i 
<sighs> talk to my sweet baby boy, my oldest son. Um, but back to the reading. Um, back to the reading, guys. So, anyways, before the initial break, we pulled number three, Blossom in Abundance, and number six, Contract. Again, sorry for all the noise at the beginning of the video. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay. All right, Cancers. Um, and we have your words create worlds. Hmm. For some reason, I didn't even shuffle. I just picked that up and looked under the deck. I was called to do it that way, you guys. <laughs> And this is a number eight. Your words create worlds. So you manifest things, Cancer, and maybe you are a creator. Um, you may speak or do something where you um, you write. Maybe you create. Um, works of uh, literature, cancer, and I feel like whatever it is that you create, multiple people are hearing this, okay? Multiple people are hearing this, all right? So we have the situation being the blossoming abundance and contracts so I feel like there is definitely someone who is going to be um, making a decision cancer there's something happening or a contract um, that someone is not seeing there's something about this contract cancer that I feel like that you are going to um, not have all of the information maybe there's going to be some something about this contract that is not going to be clear cancer when it talks about this blossoming abundance this could also talk about a marriage contract cancer so you could also literally be signing a contract cancer that is going to be bringing in a lot of money cancer so this could be you starting a new job or a new position, um, accepting some form of responsibility that is going to be lucrative, Cancer. Whatever this is, I see you um, making, starting to make moves, Cancer, where it's going to be bringing in a lot of money. You don't see this coming in. Because you're so busy, Cancer, with this contract. This also reminds me of the Justice card. You know, this is an energy of you working hard on your goals, Cancer. Um, sowing seeds so that you can manifest those results here. With that blossoming abundance, it's already starting to come in. And look, we have number 15, fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. Number 15, this uh, adds up to six, Cancer. So you are making difference, Cancer, with your words. You could be, again, um, I feel like a very strong energy of somebody who writes or writes to inspires others or there are other people who read your works cancer and they feel inspired to do um, things or they're motivated to achieve their goals after reading what you write so I feel like this is the action that you need to take cancer in order to have this abundance and it has something to do with this contract, Cancer. It 
And with fulfilling your destiny, there is an energy of you fulfilling a contract, Cancer. So you could be coming towards the end of a contract where you are going to be um, more have more freedom to do the things that you want to do the way you want to do them, Cancer. If you look at the number six, this represents starting over in the tarot. And number eight, 44, this represents focusing on yourself. Um, so I feel like maybe, potentially, you were in a contract with, it could be a publishing company, where, you know, everything that you wrote, you pretty much wrote for them, Cancer, um, or whatever you owed as works of, you know, written art, Cancer, as a writer does when they're under contract to a publisher, they have to write so many written works. And maybe you were so busy being fulfilled doing that, and now you're coming to the end of this contract. So now you're going to be able to do things on your own. Okay? You're going to be able to make changes, Cancer. Fulfill your own destiny. You're going to start to be able to make your own decisions. You're not going to be under someone else's uh, hat for too much longer. So let's look at the final outcome here. Because that was beautiful. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell us about cancer, please. Tell us about... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I just threw that one on the ground here. Didn't mean to, but it did. And cancer, we got spiritual. Just went down on the ground in the reverse here. Your spiritual journey is beginning. So, Cancer, there's an energy of there's an energy of someone who is for some reason not moving forward. This person is not moving forward. They're feeling there's some sort of um, something preventing this person from moving forward, okay, on this new journey. So, and the spiritual, this just reminds me of all these um, doves. This is a dove here, and there are several others in the background. And it's like someone is releasing the dove, Cancer. And I feel like this is your energy being released. But in the reverse here, there's an energy of feeling like either you're tied. And Cancer, with this contract, and what I said is something here in this contract that you don't see. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of issue that comes up cancer or a clause or something where someone is going to try to hold you to something cancer that you didn't realize you were obligated to still so we can take it down into a more granular sense and aspect okay because that was very 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 grandiose okay but let's take it down to a very personal aspect here. There could be a situation, Cancer, where you're, you know, on a twin flame journey with someone um, and you, you know, were in a relationship with this person and you decided it was time to clip your wings and move on and, you know, be independent, live life La Vida Loca, do you, Cancer, so to speak? Um, but with the spiritual in the reverse, there's an energy of not being able to leave just yet. Not having everything, not just being able to leave just yet. 
So there's something still, Cancer, that needs to be done here. Something required on your part and something that your person may come in with that keeps you from going. Some sort of obligation that you're going to see that you need to meet. Let's under the deck here. True love. <laughs> True love comes when you least expect it, Cancers. So you see how this person, Cancer, this feminine energy is facing forward and this masculine is like coming up from behind and offering in like this rose very, very poignant that it is in this position. But it's like this person is in the position of walking away, but this person comes up from behind and is like stopping this person and pulling this person back and saying, no, 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 don't go, don't go, not just yet. With spiritual in the reverse, Cancer, I do feel like there's a twin flame energy here. I said that already, but there's definitely that energy here of twin flame. And perhaps your person is not going to let you ascend without them, Cancer. Uh, let's see. We'll take it into the extended and look at the tarot for both your person, Cancer, and your energy and see what we find out. I'll drop the link in the description box below or you know when you'll see me. I love you guys so much. Take care. See you there. Bye.